Don't ever make used inner tubes or used motor oil again. It's just wasted waste. Because with these two ingredients, I will show you how to make a magical liquid that perhaps not many people know about. And yes, to make this magical liquid, we only need an old motorcycle inner tube. The first step is to cut the inner tube into small pieces. This will make the rest of the process easier and faster. Many people might think this is impossible, but you'll see for yourself how a multi-purpose liquid can be created from scrap rubber and dirty oil. So, follow along step by step, because after this, we'll get to the most exciting part. Once the cutting process is complete, the next step is to cook the inner tube pieces. To do this, place them in a metal container and add a sufficient amount of used oil. This is where the magic begins. Slowly, we heat the mixture of inner tube and used oil until it becomes completely liquid. When heated, the substances in the tire rubber will be released and then combine with the oil, forming a thick liquid unlike any other. This process does require a bit of patience, as we have to ensure all the tire pieces dissolve properly. But the end result is amazing. What was initially considered useless has now transformed into a versatile liquid ready for use in a variety of applications. And in the next step, we'll prepare another additional material, used styrofoam. Just like with the inner tube, we'll cut this styrofoam into small pieces first to make it easier to process. So, here we'll make two variations of our magic liquid. The first variation, we'll mix the previously cut styrofoam with gasoline. This mixture will produce a thick liquid with a very sticky texture, perfect for adhesives or coatings. The second variation, we'll mix the styrofoam with PU thinner. The result will be different. The resulting liquid will be smoother and can be used for applications requiring a thin but strong coating.
And now we come to the most important step, combining everything. Slowly pour the liquid from boiling the inner tubes into each container, which we previously mixed with the styrofoam pieces. Take a closer look. When the hot liquid from boiling the inner tube mixes with the styrofoam and gasoline, the texture immediately becomes thicker and stickier. Similarly, in a container filled with styrofoam and PU thinner, the result appears smoother and blends perfectly. In the next step, we'll add one more secret ingredient. Silicone sealant. We'll add this to each container containing the boiled inner tire and styrofoam mixture. Pay close attention. When the silicone sealant starts to mix with the liquid, its texture immediately changes to become denser, stronger, and definitely more durable. This mixture is more than just a liquid. With the addition of silicone, the final product has greater adhesion is more flexible and can adhere strongly to a variety of surfaces. And after all the processes are complete, it's time to test the results. Here, I'll pour the magic liquid we just made directly onto the floor. Using a paint wheel as a spreader, we'll gently spread the liquid across the surface. Observe closely how the texture adheres perfectly and forms a strong layer on the floor. This is concrete proof. What was originally just waste material has now been transformed into a versatile liquid that can be applied directly to everyday needs. This coating is not only sticky, but also forms a long-lasting protective layer. And after we apply this liquid with the paint wheel, the next step is to wait for it to dry completely. On the other hand, the variation fluid we make from a mixture of gasoline and styrofoam also has equally powerful uses. For example, if you have a leaking roof, this fluid could be the solution. The method is quite simple. Take the liquid and apply it directly to the hole or leaking gap in the zinc roof. Observe carefully. Once the liquid touches the surface, its sticky texture immediately seals the gap. As a result, small holes in the roof can be completely sealed without having to replace the entire zinc roof. It's practical, inexpensive, and definitely makes use of recycled materials that would otherwise go to waste. After we've repaired the roof, let's return to the floor we coated earlier. The solution we applied earlier is now completely dry, and it's time to test the results. Look closely. When I poured water onto the floor, the results were truly remarkable. The water didn't seep in at all. The floor was now waterproof. And it's not just for floors. This liquid can also be used on walls that frequently leak due to rain. With this simple coating, your walls will be protected from water seepage, making them more durable and long-lasting.